Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today in front of us is a nice little box that comes to us from Boyd's Toys. This is part of their Chronicles of the Wayfarer game. So you may remember a little while back they tried their hand at Kickstarter. Didn't reach its funding goal, but rather than throw in the towel, Boyd's Toys stuck with it, followed their dream, and actually have started to release these models to the public. Now at the moment they're only available on their eBay store, which I'll put a link to down below if you're interested in any of this stuff please by all means do take a look. But these three models in particular, one of them, were the models that originally really got me interested in Chronicles of the Wayfarer. They really had a nice design that really spoke to me and so finally they are in my hands. Well, in the box, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so here we have, I believe this is called the Gear Strider, kind of ninja-like dude. The Schematicist, a magic looking user dude. And finally the one that drew me to the game in the first place and that is the Guardian Knight. Look at all that fun stuff in there. So let's pop him open first because he was the one I was most excited to get. So, lots of swords, lots of blades. Alright, so the first thing Ah, um, Gamak. What's the Gamak Patreon dude? Yeah, okay. Interesting. I did not know he sculpted these. Cool to know. I do like when sculptors are given credit for what they've made. So, first viewing is, this is heavily, heavily inspired by Cronopian designs. Look at those gear teeth everywhere, and to me that's a big plus. I always like the Cronopia designs, and there wasn't enough done with them since the game has long passed its prime. So here you can see we've got the blades for his hands, we've got his scabbards. So you actually have a choice between using the big spear and the sword. So one way or the other, you get at least a sword. And it looks like, unfortunately, you have to have both in the scabbard. Oh, wait, no, no, I take that back. I take that back. I can't count. <laughs> There's two empty scabbards, one with the blade still in there, so you can make it look correct. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then we have these cool, crazy gear teeth wings that I have no way well I probably should remove the flash on it I think they go like that that looks right kind of like that reminds me of the palace of themes from the Zeta Gundam with all its funnel system things which is always a plus I'm not sure which hand I'm going to use for him yet we'll set him to the side here Probably the big spear, because it's just fun. Let's take a look at the schematicist. And this also is by Mr. Pizzo. I like that helmet. Again, the gear and cog iconography really strong with these guys. Bleh, these are part of the Knights of the Kiln faction. I remember that. I'll grab the painted guys I've got later to show off. To see how they all look. It's got like this kind of shrinking glaive icon to hold up like that. And then a nice sword in his other arm, which I believe is supposed to actually go down. Okay. Not too complex. I'm curious where these are cast. They don't have a lot of the Casting gates, especially like these, don't see that often with the metal stuff. I'm curious about that. I'll have to check. And then here is our gear strider. Again, very ninja like in his appearance. Lots of blades. I'm noticing that's a reoccurring theme with models that I build. Lots of blades. He's got these. Punchy dagger things. We got two of those. And because we need more, right? Got a set of blades I'm assuming are going to go, yep, right there on his back. Maybe when he gets done punching people with those, he's got two more to 
Here you go. I like that. That was kind of cool, actually. Yeah. So, give me a sec. We're going to get these guys built. We're going to grab some other Chronicles of the Wayfarer models to show off. And hopefully, we'll get you guys just as excited about them as I am. All right, we've got our Kill Knights all put together here. We'll show you how we got to them. Show you them in just a sec if I can speak English. All right, we're going to start off with our Gear Strider, our rather ninja-like friend here. I did not clip that little piece of metal between his leg and the base just yet. We will get to that. Some nice big blades. Makes me think more time for some reason. I really don't know why. <laughs> Our schematicist, if I remember his name correctly, he is not glued on his base, so he does not want to stand upright, it seems. That's okay. Again, you can see that real obvious gear iconography there. I like it personally. You want to go all Cronopia on me? I'm okay with that. And then the creme de la creme, my favorite of the bunch, the Guardian Knight. In all his resplendent glory there. Just absolutely over the top, and I love it. Um, I think he could probably fit better on a 40 millimeter base. I think he was supplied with a 30. I don't even remember since I filmed the first part of this video. I got sidetracked with work and kids and fun models to build. As you can see, I did go with the spear and sword. You do have the option of doing dual blades if you choose. So probably trim that down a little bit. It was kind of obnoxious trying to get the scabbards in place. They didn't want to fit really well. It wasn't really clear where they went, but I think it looks okay. So I'm going to call it a day there. Everything else, you know, pretty intuitive where it goes. These guys absolutely no issue in terms of putting them together. They really weren't that bad. I think the schematicist, the only issue is his holy icon thingy, making sure that's straight, but it, it looks good enough. So how do they stack up with some other models? Well, let's find out. I grabbed our painted lawgiver, who is also one of the other characters. We've seen him before. I gotta say, top-notch paint job by my brother on that guy. I can't paint white that well. Mine were red. Where did I put mine? I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were here, but I guess not. Um, but I think they're going to fit in quite nicely if you have other 32 to 30 or 28 millimeter models. Throwing a Manta guy in there. Our Oath Sworn friend's going to be a little bit on the smaller side, unfortunately. So if you want to use them as Frostgrave heroes, perhaps, I think they'd work pretty well in that case. Um, got a modern GW Untamed Beast, or whatever he's called here. So again, size-wise, looks good. I think they're going to fit in well. Uh, if you wanted to throw them in with Conquest stuff, actually, I think that might really work. You want to have some cheap knights there. Uh, let's see, a Privateer model fits in good. So I mean, they're about 30 millimeter size-wise. So if you have a collection of smaller stuff, that might be an issue. Um, I don't have any Cronopia stuff handy. I do have a random Keltos figure. Let's get you in focus. There we go. So you can see, I mean, Cronopia and Keltos were basically the same size. I think, maybe he's a son of Kronos. He might actually be a Cronopia figure. I take that back. So these guys are a little bit bigger than them if you wanted to play Cronopian games. That is a son of Kronos, isn't it? I like this sculpt. I found it at the local hobby shop a while back and he's just been anyway <laughs> it's one of those things that we're going to get to eventually so definitely a very fun and interesting range um do take a look i'll put a link down to their ebay site for now i know that's where they're mainly selling them from um i'll put the link to boyd's toys their homepage as well so you guys can take a look there if you're curious um by all means do get in touch with them they are nice folks so with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye!